YouTube, welcome back to the On The Gas Show, and we are back with another video. Guys, I don't know if you guys seen the last video, but we're right here with the loser truck. Is this a loser's <laughs> truck, Frank? Yeah, loser has red venom. Yeah. Anyways, we are gonna get the rematch, and it's gonna happen this week. Now, I did talk to my boy Manuel from Midnight, and he does have a tune ready for this truck. Now, I've been seeing a lot of comments, and there are guys who are telling me to downshift it, and I think that's what we're gonna try it. I gotta practice a little bit, and I just don't wanna mess up the transmission on the truck, you know, because it's a giveaway, you know what I'm saying? So, even though we've been doing burnouts here and there and stuff like that, we still don't wanna mess up the truck just like that. So, we're gonna be practice a little bit on the manual shift, and then, we're gonna be calling Perrillo back out. And it's gonna happen this week, so y'all stay tuned. Also, another thing, if you haven't guys noticed, we dropped the shirt, and I'm wearing a tiny shirt right now. That goes to show how big tiny is. Yeah. Cause you're six foot or 5'11". I'm 5'11", 5'11", six, depends on what kind of shoe I got. If I got some Vans, I'm 5'11". If I got these, I'm six. <laughs> I'm about 190 pounds, and my boy Tiny is, He's 6'4 on a bad day. He's probably like 6'5 on a good day. When he's tired, he's 6'4. But when he's good, you know what I'm saying? You know, in the mornings, he's 6'5. So he's around 6'4, 6'5. He's around 370, 400? Uh, something like that, 350. Yeah. And uh, so my boy gets the custom tees. You know what I'm saying? You get the 3X tall tees. So they fit him pretty good. So this is me. I'm a normal size, extra large, large, extra large. If I were large, I'm a little tight. If I get XL, they're a little loose. I like my shirts loose. So yeah, we got the shirts. We dropped the shirts actually yesterday, guys. And you have six days to get into to this giveaway. And this giveaway ends July the 16th, which is this weekend coming up, Sunday at 11.59 p.m. You already know the deal. We'll be going live the following Thursday on our YouTube channel. Y'all know the drill. We always do the same thing. So y'all stay tuned for that. So get your shirts. We got the combo pack, which is the brush sticker and the issues paper sticker. That's a little combo, and you can get your entries with that. Also, we dropped a shirt yesterday, which is this shirt that I got right now now. It's a little windy. So, we got the On The Gas logo on the front, as you see, and then we got the truck in the back. Real nice print, real badass, with the fast logo. And we also got these decals that we dropped. So, you can get the shirt individually, 50 entries, 50 entries. We got the combo, 125 entries. So, if you already bought the other bundle pack, and if you want more entries, you can get this bundle pack right here. You can have the total of 250 entries. Remember guys, the more the entries you got, the more chances you win the truck. If you got the other combo and this combo, your order number is in the system 250 times. If you bought just the last bundle, you got 125 entries, which is your order number, which is your name, it's in the system 125. So you have 125 chances to win. If you got both of the combos, you got 250 chances of winning this truck. That's why sometimes when you see people that win the giveaways, they bought more than one stuff is because they got multiple entries, like more entries than the regular people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you have to have 250 entries to win it, but it ups your chances. That's how it works, right? Yeah, statistically speaking, mathematically speaking, the more entries you have, the more chance you have to win. Of course, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not saying that if you buy 250 entries, you're gonna win the truck. I'm not saying that. We have people that win it with one decal only. You know what I'm saying? And there's people that bought the bondo, there's people that bought two bondos. It's just the look of the draw. Today, they actually picked up the 4x4 Z71 GMC. The transport is finally taking it to Colorado. So congrats to my boy over there in Colorado. We'll be seeing that truck once we pull up to Colorado, August 5th, which is Colorado Truck Madness. We'll be in that one. We'll be in New Mexico first, and then Colorado Truck Madness, and then the West Texas show. So those are the shows that we got planned uh, to, to pull up. Also, we're heading out to the Hoonigans next week with the Monster Truck. Monster Truck is not here. And we're also taking another badass truck. So y'all stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed to the channel guys make sure to subscribe our goal is 300,000 subscribers and once we reach that goal we're gonna go ahead and give you guys the can -Am that everybody likes which is inside uh, and then we're gonna put some nice wheels we're gonna lift it big wheels big tires and all that good stuff so yeah just want to remind everybody there's pretty much you got a week to get entered to this badass giveaway we got the decals we got the bonus and all that good stuff remember guys the winner will be taking this badass truck and ten thousand dollars in cash it's not the truck or ten thousand no no it's the truck plus ten thousand dollars and maybe with those ten thousand dollars uh there's nothing to do to a truck i literally did it all so you can just pocket that money now you can probably make it faster if you want to you can probably put a twin turbo it or add a little bit of nitrous or whatever but unless y'all give me 30 minutes i put nitrous on it 30 minutes? 30 minutes. I'm you can put, you can put nitrous on that truck in 30 well, let's minutes. Let's get him in here. Pretty much the truck is complete. In and out, wheels, wrap, 
interior seats, sound system. It already has a supercharger. We're fixing to get it tuned here. It has an exhaust. I mean, pretty much it has it all. You don't have to do nothing. You can just put that money in your pocket, you know, pay some bills, pay some, some debt, go on vacation. I mean, we're just trying to bless people. You know what I mean? We're blessing with the truck and we're blessing with a little bit of money and it doesn't get any better than that. Now, boom. So let's look over here. This is the baddest Chevy right here in South Houston. Just in South Houston, my boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we picked it up from Skinny Man. My boy Skinny Man did some minor little things that needed to be done. And we ended up going with the double shoot. So he built a brand new brace for the shoot because it only had one. But now that we got more power and we'll be going faster, safety is really important. HMP is one of the tracks that we still have here in Houston and HMP is really short. Actually, I almost crashed one time because I pulled the chute and uh, I guess I didn't pull it hard enough and the chute didn't deploy. So the brakes, they're good, but I was hauling ass. So I almost hit the barriers. Luckily, you know, made the turn and I didn't hit anything, but now that the truck is gonna be picking up at least 10 mile an hour, at least this thing is gonna be hauling ass. And we're gonna be using the double chutes in certain tracks just like hmp when we went to evadale that's a longer uh, rundown you know there's more room to stop there so i don't have to pull the shoots i'm not like my boy john my boy john likes to pull that shit he likes to do it just for fun yeah he likes to do it just for fun but it's a fucking hassle it's to a put struggle. this motherfucker put it back together well he's not doing it i'm not doing it but he's doing it but it's a hassle you know what i mean you have to get off you have to put the shoot on the inside the truck you know what i'm saying you got to roll it out you got to fold it right you got to fold it the right way if not it doesn't come out but we got the double shoots we got a new pedal we got some motor mounts so the truck looks really really nice now it actually looks a little faster and it should be a lot faster because obviously we put a bigger motor bigger turbos bigger injector bigger pump new wiring switch panel i mean we redid pretty much the whole truck so hopefully we can get back to racing because there was actually a badass event here this weekend 750 class and we pulled up just to spectate you know what i'm saying it's been a while that we actually go spectate on a race event but it was hot it was terrible it was really really hot that's why i don't like to race right now this is pretty much the off season we like to rebuild our vehicles around this time and then once the boost weather comes up we'll go to the track and stuff like that because you guys don't know how hot is it once you're in there with the race suit i'm actually hot right now with this big ass shirt <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna take it off imagine how tight he feels it's hot every day well yeah i got double shirts yeah but it's really hot once you get in there you gotta get your suit you know your jacket which is like a what, 15 layer but this kind of trucks is has alcohol and everything you don't see the fire you have to wear a 15 layer up to 20 layer same thing with the pants and the pants make it even hotter yeah it's like wearing frc stuff so yeah. you gotta wear a jacket you gotta wear pants shoes helmet it's hot in there you ain't got no ac so it, it gets kind of hot so i really don't like racing in this in this weather besides that it ain't boost weather so can't wait to get back behind the wheel which is here coming up we're gonna be testing this truck here pretty soon and i'm about to suck it up i'm about to suck it up once it gets hot because we got to test it and get it ready but there was an event this weekend and we missed all the action everybody racing everybody everybody calling out everybody it was actually pretty fun to be on the side and spectate the whole deal bro i mean it was it was a whole show yeah stayed away from the drama and all yeah, that other yeah, bullshit it was actually pretty tight yeah yeah, yeah, but with what? we're working on the crawfish and we will give you guys a little bit more racing content here coming up. You guys got to understand, this is our off season right now. Right now is our time to rebuild. We still got to finish this one. We still got to finish Brownie. Brownie's on the, on the final touches as well. I'm going to be pulling out here Holly. We need to get Holly back on the track. We're going to be pulling down the gangbang. We're building Red Bull right now with over there with Manny, with Manuel Midnight. We got the Cyclone over there in the valley, but it's coming to Jason Flores. The same guy that did the chassis on this one. He's going to be working on the Cyclone with the Coyote motor, which is that was going to be a trip for everybody because we got an iconic Cyclone and we put in a Coyote. So a lot of people are not going to like that, but we like to be a little bit different. So that's why we're doing it. That truck's also going to be a 5.0 Coyote with a twin turbo. We're going to be doing a twin turbo on the back because Coyote is pretty big and it's kind of tight right there on the truck. So we're going to do the, the turbo kit in the rear and I can't wait to get that one done. Probably by the end of the year, we'll have that truck here. We can go out tested and do other good stuff. But right now, we're going to be dropping off the truck on both Flacco, so let's head out before it gets too late.
Is it responsive? All right, guys, so we switched from uh, uh, sensor throttle body, the new style. We ended up going with the rod, and this is what the real racers have, so it was only right for us to have this as well. So there it is. My boy Skinny Man did a nice job. Also, he did this bar right here. I don't know if you see it. That, and then this over there, right there. A bunch of little stuff. That, the pedal, the parachutes, as you've seen it earlier. And right now we're here dropping it off with my boy Flacco and we're gonna put on the scales and see how much it weighs. Hopefully, he did say that we lose maybe 200 pounds. If we did, well then, that means that we might just go a little faster just because of that. But then again, we got bigger motor, bigger turbos, everything bigger. So, can't wait to go get behind the wheel. And Bud Light is still with us. <laughs> it's past his bedtime, but he's here. You know what this actually reminds me of, bro? Crackhead. Yeah? I kinda miss Crackhead. Me too. Yeah. yeah. It's a really nice crackhead because yeah. I like this blue. Yeah, it's, it's a nice blue. Yeah. We have a big block on crackhead right yeah, now okay. and it's nitrous and it's cool and everything, but I like turbos. Yeah. What about a coyote on crackhead? Yeah, that would piss off a lot of people. It's like a... Uh... Yeah, it's a blue jack. Blue jack. Oh. But you probably sold it already. It's like a Chevy that identifies as a Ford. That's a coyote. <laughs> You know what I'm saying though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it'll piss off a lot of people, but it'll also be pretty cool. I think it'll be pretty cool. And our deal is to be pretty cool and different. So yeah. I don't know if we can actually do it. I mean, I'm sure, but mm, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll put on Coyotes on everything. A Coyote in a race truck Chevy. Yes. Not just an engine swap. It's like going into a straight up race truck. Yeah. But this is a really nice truck. I really like this truck a lot. So it kind of reminds me of Crackhead. I don't know. We might bring, it, bring out Crackhead here pretty soon. It'll remind you of Johnny's truck, bro? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. Yeah. Yes, more crack it. Yeah. Crack it is faster. A little faster. <laughs> Maybe you'll start coming back out though. You talk about it. Yeah, right? Yeah, Johnny. Johnny's hey, Johnny. been MIA. He's uh, out there. He's working a lot. You know, he got a business and everything. So, well, Johnny, if you're watching this, Hit us up, bro. We miss you. You know what I'm saying? Flacco misses you over here, too. Yeah, he don't come no more. <laughs> well, after he ran that fast ass pass, he don't I'm want to pull out no more. Done, huh? He said, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, my, my racing days are over. Yeah. <laughs> he went, it was personal best that last time they went out to, where was it? Even Dale? And he retired. He retired after that. And mm -hmm. that thing went really, really, really fast. Not as fast as Crackhead, but he went really, really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny, All hit right. us up. <laughs> we need to find out what it was before. It was. Some change by itself, and then of course me, 190. Have you gained any weight? Lost any weight? I'm actually 186. What were you last time? Between 180, 185 and 190. That's, that's how much I weigh. It was. There you go. That's close. About seven pounds off. Yeah, you can uh, bring them. Yeah. Was that here last time? No. Okay. I just did all that. I feel like uh, I need a beer or something. Yeah. All the way around. All the way around. Oh, there's lights. There's a whole bar theme. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a little, you know, a little bar out here. <laughs> Shelf's gonna look like that. Like the wood and the... the so, Flacco's Bar, if you're having a bad day after work, just <laughs> pull up over here and get your nice yeah. cold beer. Maybe just get your shit tuned and, you know, you go faster. Maybe. Maybe. I gotta get that other sign to the neon place, that Bud King. Oh, see. That's an old school one. It's broke. I need to get it fixed. Yeah. That's a real nice one, too, with the That's fucking drive car. Yeah, they don't drive Get that like 190 pounds? Word. Okay. So, sounds lighter. Nice. And yeah. of course, this uses more oil than before. Oh. Like this motherfucker here uses two gallons of oil. Before it was only six quarts. Yeah. So now it's got two gallons. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. <laughs> How much is that right there? So we were. Yeah. Lighter. Nice. Which is basically what the block difference yeah, is. The block, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's got more oil. Yeah, you got an extra shoot, yeah, the man. Let me see the nose percentages and I'll tell you how much the, the front. The front, okay. Yeah. So, so we were in the front before. Hey, look at that. That's how much you lost in the nose, in front. Ooh. Extra shoot and that's yeah, where you're it adds, it adds a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But off the nose, pun's lighter. Off the front. Yeah, but in the front, in the front only, you lost. Mm, that's a lot. And then some more got added over here in the back. Sí. So that's where it kind of went yeah. back and, and added some yeah, more. It added the weight, weight back yeah. in there. You know, this right here, the extra, sí, the extra deal sí. and the other shoot, I mean, we're talking about pounds. So, I mean, yeah. 
But we were we were about right in the, the first place. I mean, at least like yeah. we five pounds off. Yeah, off the front. Oh, that's pretty good. We're at percent now. What were we before? What's, so, what's with him? It percent even. So it's over percent, which is pretty good. It's gonna transfer a little better. Yeah, it's gonna transfer a little better. So it'll be good. Even though, and then it's gonna help the motors a little bit lower. But yeah. Oh, si cierto, más bajaron el motor poquito. Yeah, it's as low as it can be, and and this oil pan is. Small. It's I don't small. know if you see it. Yeah. It's, it's real small. It takes two gallons. Though. Well, the two gallons goes in the front. That's yeah. the on the, the, the oil pan. Oil. Yeah, the oil pan only. It's only whatever drips down into it and it sucks off of it and that's it. Uh, All the oil is in the front. On the dry stone. Yeah. Tank. The tank. Well, there it is. We took off a little bit of weight, but we added a little bit of weight, so it compensates. We actually went on a diet and lost a little bit of weight, so we're actually really happy. And then we added a shoot, and you know what I'm saying. We're just trying to be be safe here, but. We're dropping off the truck. He's gonna change the spark plugs, turn it on, warm it up, and then maybe, just maybe, this week, guys, we'll give you a dino day with the crawfish. And then after that, we'll be going to the track. Now, my boy Flaco likes to do just a thousand horsepower on the dyno. He actually likes to put the power down over there at the track. So it's not like we're gonna come here and it's gonna show you 3,000 horsepower. He just likes to turn it on, give it a nice little pass and make sure everything's good, all the fuel is good and everything. And then we go to the track and actually turn it up and see what it does. But pretty much he doesn't like to give you dyno numbers. He just likes to show you at the track that it's going really, really fast. That's better than being a dyno queen. Don't yeah. do the real numbers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The real, the real numbers. Another cool thing is that this is the final week for the Mona Lisa, right? Yeah, yeah, Sunday. Oh. Sunday. Sunday. We have a giveaway ending this Sunday. Also, and my, yes, and my boy Flaco has yeah. another giveaway ending this week. And so if you got our things already, make sure to go to flacoperformance.com and get your uh, stuff there. He got decals, he got uh, shirts. Decals and shirts, and then they can do a combination of, you know. Combos and everything. Yeah. You should do some hats. I need to. Yeah, I, need to. I got actually three new designs of shirts coming okay. out. And they're gonna come out before. I don't think he's gonna have them done, okay. but they're gonna be on the website because I do have another giveaway after Mona. Oh, okay, okay. So if you don't win this one, don't give up. You know, there's always a next time, you know what I'm saying? And it's a car, right? Yeah, it's a Camaro. Camaro, so it doesn't get better than a nice Camaro. If you don't win this one, or if you don't like the truck, you'd rather get a car, whatever. He's coming up with a race car. And it's not super, super fast, but it's fast. It's fast. My son, there's some videos that I put out there. My okay. son was driving it. It ran 570s on 18 pounds of boost. Okay, okay. So that's like literally just, it's a street car. It's got a 480 four speed and everything you can drive it around town go pick up some girls whatever there you go that's what i'm saying not super super fast like this thing because this thing goes 390s in the eighth this one's 550 570 in the eighth so it's a little bit more kind of like skunk you know a little bit faster than skunk a little so, more street friendly a little street friendly yeah 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 so go to the website flacosperformance.com and get your combos or whatever and get your entries before it's too late and you can win this badass truck let's let's go check it out we haven't we haven't seen it Oh, this one has double shoot. Double okay. shoot. Check it out, right here. 275, full blown race street truck. My boy Skinny Man did the full tube chassis on this one. Same thing, moonshine. 275, custom paint job. This thing has a twin turbo deal, and it got everything. You don't, pretty much all you need is just come and pick it up and go to the track. I'm gonna win. Uh, You're gonna win it? I'm gonna win it. I was gonna join, but I don't, I, if I win it, it's, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, you know, we got enough fucking race Not only that, but it's it's not gonna look good if we win. Of you know course, of course. So, we're yeah. not participating, this is for you guys. Yeah, it's for you guys, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, we'd love to do this, but then, you know, it's just not gonna look right if we win it, because we're a customer, but Perrio, hopefully Perrio wins it. <laughs> In, imagine, bro. He's gonna bully Bring your ass. Holly. Bring the Holly. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't even know how to turn them up around. So. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much everything custom, custom paint job, candy red graphics, the carbon fiber double shoot. You know what I'm saying? We get double trouble. Let me show you guys a little bit of the interior. Check that out. Literally, you can see once you get on the race on a race car race truck, and you can see the transmission. Yeah, that's it's, trouble, bro. It's trouble. Yeah, and you can see the transmission <laughs> on this one. So. And this is you got the dry sump tank in the inside too. It's a real, real badass truck. Look at the look at the fire extinguisher on this stuff. Fire suppressor system, yeah. Fire suppressor. So yeah, guys, go to flacosperformance.com. Like I said, you got decals and he got shirts. Get you a nice little decal, nice little shirt. If you want to get the uh, the bundle, get you the bundle. You can probably win this truck. When are you going live? Flaco? On uh, the 20th. This is on a Thursday. Oh, so are we. So yeah, so okay. when we go live, what time are you going live? Uh well, what time are you going live? We go live at 6:30-ish. 
Yeah, we'll do it. Well, yeah. Okay, so I can work it out, and that way it's not at the same time. We'll, we'll do it at eight. Yeah, okay. we'll do it at eight. So I'll we'll probably do it about two hours before. Yeah, do it at six. Yeah, yeah I'll do it at six. I usually go. We go live, and then we're there for thirty minutes, forty-five minutes, and then I do the drawing. Yeah. yeah. So you do it started at six. YouTube live. YouTube. Yeah. So go to his YouTube channel, and you can watch it live there. And hopefully they call your name. There's no cash option, right? Just a truck. No cash option, just a truck. If you win the truck, call me. I might buy it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, that's the cash option right there. Yeah. It's the same thing as used. It's going to be a Flacco's performance and a order number. Okay. So order number, and then they pull up the information on the computer, and then pretty much the same software that we're using. So that's going to be uh, pretty cool. So that's a badass truck. And it's fast, too. Like I said, 390s, he does have the record for the fastest LS truck in the world. And this is it right here. Like I said, I touched it. Yeah. And you can you, you imagine can owning it. Imagine yeah. owning it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it doesn't get any better than this. Touch time. Touch <laughs> break.